changing our world through storytelling. Synergy. It was the first week of the term, and as was the practice, Mr. Asari, the science teacher, gave out his project work for the term. The topic this time was devise a water filtration system. He gave the option of group work or individual work. The theory bit was to be submitted in two weeks and the practical aspect after midterm holidays. Pupils formed groups and met to share roles. When projects were given, they usually changed group leaders to allow every member of the group to experience or have a feel of leadership role. It was Karim's turn to lead group seven. He arranged for a meeting with his group members and in his opening statement, he said, Dear team, if you want to go fast, you go alone. But if you want to go far, we go together. With this, he stressed on teamwork. He shared roles after the initial discussion and gave timelines. Bacha was a member of the team and his role was to compile the theory aspect on receiving inputs from other members. After school that day, Bacha met his neighbor, Alikoto, at the popular Kelewele joint. Bacha had been told by some of his neighbors that Alikoto was a university student studying chemistry in his second year. During their conversation, Bacha mentioned to Alikoto that he had been given a science project work to devise a water filtration system. Alikoto offered to help Bacha with his project work. Bacha asked when he could come for them to discuss the project and Alikoto told him not to worry and that he would do the write-up for him. Bacha relied on Alikoto's assurance and opted out of the group to present the work as an individual. With a university student's assistance, he was sure to earn the highest mark for his continuous assessment. Karim was not happy when Bacha informed him that he was opting out of the group. Karim tried to convince him, but Bacha's mind was made up. He had no choice but to allow him. Other members of the team went all out to find information for the project work. Other groups worked seriously too and made their project a competition. Group 7 met every day after school to fine-tune what they had done. Bacha at this point relaxed because he would be taken care of by Alikoto. He kept reminding Alikoto and he was always given the assurance that he was in safe hands. All groups were set to submit their write-ups the next morning. Bacha went to Alikoto's house for the write-up as promised. Alikoto went in and brought a three-page printed document. Bacha thanked him for his kind gesture and left. He failed to read through the write-up, but wrote his name boldly on the first page. The next morning, Mr. Asari came to class and requested for the write-ups of the project. Group leads submitted their work. Bacha, with all confidence, submitted his work too. Mr. Asari did not spend too much time in marking the scripts. At the next science class, Mr. Sari called all the various groups to share what they did with the class. All the members in the various groups participated and Mr. Sari was really impressed with the efforts they put in. He called Bacha the Lone Ranger to present his work to after he handed him his scripts. 
with all the three page documents bacha scored two out of 30. he was surprised to see that mark because he was expecting 30 out of 30 since his work had been done for him by someone he knew to be a second year chemistry student in the university he began to sweat profusely trying to read the first line of the paragraph mr sari said to bacha i was disappointed after reading your script tell me the meaning of what you did was it a poem you wrote read it aloud just as they did for them to hear you bacha began water water everywhere to wash my hands and wash my hair it comes from clouds don't you know it's nice to drink it by the pool slap it sip it nice and cool it comes from clouds don't you know falls in rain and also snow keep it clean and you will be sick and sick as can be we are lucky here at school to have clean water to keep us cool think of others when you get paid and give a bit of water aid bacha could not go on he felt let down by alikoto his friends burst out laughing mr sari continued you kept repeating this poem on three pages bacha why what is wrong with you nyaniba shouted say alikoto did it for him the university student he lives some houses away from Bacha. Mr. Sari knew Alikoto very well. He laughed and put his head on the table. When he managed to lift his head, he said to the class, you people believe everything and you do not take time to make inquiries. Who told you Alikoto is a university student? He dropped out of school at class six. He works as an errand boy at the university. He comes home when they vacate. Everyone joined a group. Why didn't you do same, Bacha? Karim said to Mr. Asari, Sir, he was a member of group seven, then suddenly opted out of the group. Bacha, I told you, if you want to go fast, you go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. Mr. Asari continued, a boat doesn't go far if each one rows their own way. To wit, when you remove one broomstick, it breaks. But when you put them together, they don't break. In unity lies strength. Bacha, I hope you have learned your lesson. Teamwork is good. Another word for teamwork is synergy. My dear friends, the lessons we learn from these stories should not be taken for granted. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Your comments are also appreciated a story a day changing our world through storytelling hey, hey.